Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I'm going to wait till some people come in here. Uh, Sunday's the day that I come on at 4 o'clock to tell you uh, what I sold the past week. Hi Diane. I tell what I sold the past week and uh, what my numbers are for the week. This past week has been sort of stinky. <laughs> uh, yeah, last week picked up a little bit, but this week was uh, right back down. Now, granted, I'm not listing as many things each time I list because I'm trying to stretch out what I have a little bit. And in between, I'm doing uh, ending listings and selling similar. So that could very well be the reason. Uh, I don't know why my dog is coughing. She does that sometimes. I got a really nice long email from Geely. She's the one from Australia. It was very nice, but she did give some good advice and uh, some things I am already doing and some things she really gave me some good advice. Uh, she does do the sell. Uh, she doesn't, I don't know, she, she has 1,400 listings. But she resets 25 to 50 uh, of her listings a day. That means she ends them and then she adjusts the titles and things uh, and puts them back as cell similar. But she's doing a lot more of them than I am. So maybe that's the problem. I usually do like 10 at a time. I have done a whole page, which is 200. Um, but usually, in between me listing new things, I do like maybe 10, 15 at the most. But maybe I should do pick it up and do at least 20 to 30, 25 to 40, something like that, and see if that makes a difference. I think it's important, too, that you change your title a little bit. Even if you change your uh, your price, it doesn't have to be by much. It, you can adjust it up or down. Um, and that, that uh, makes the item different, too. So I'm going to try that because did I go shopping yesterday when I... No, because yesterday was not this double points day. Because it wasn't the last Saturday of the month. This coming Saturday is. Which is the day that my kids are coming out here and we're going to have Easter dinner. The day before Easter. So I won't be going shopping then either. So sometime this week, I'm going to go to the smaller of my Goodwills and pick up some things. That's what I'll have to do. Uh, yeah. Because I'm out, I have, I saved a few uh, to list today. Uh, there's, I think there's only four. Yeah, four things left to list. Remember that, remember that North Foot, North Face, the North Face down jacket I got. I got a really nice black goose down uh, puffy jacket. Well, when I was going to photograph it, I found a little cigarette hole in it. And every time you touched, every time you touched the area of where this hole is, it just puffed out a feather or three. So that has to be stick, stiff, oh my, that has to be stitched shut for sure. Uh, yeah, and that will be a patch that will be noticeable. So I have to do that, yeah. And now spring is coming, so I'm not in a real big hurry. The other thing I have to sew is uh, 
that wasn't Timberlake. It was uh, Territory Ahead. It was that heavy flannel shirt that was quilt all quilted inside. Definitely a winter thing. Well, it's in perfect condition except for under the arm, inside in the lining is torn. And I think the pocket needs a couple stitches, but that, that wouldn't be anything. So those two are super winter things. They have to be mended. And I'm in no hurry to do that. So, yeah. Uh, Liz Fudger's here. Hi, Riri, you're here. Hi. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm still wearing the same bracelet that I seem to like a lot. I wore it to church this morning. <laughs> uh, I also found a pair of knit pants. And I wondered why I had put them uh, up in my photography room and I had them folded and put, you know, aside. And I thought, now what are these? And so I tried them on and they fit perfectly and I'm going to just keep them. I don't even know who makes them, but they have a stretch waist with a tie and they're sort of clingy and they have a little bit teensy bit of a flare bottom. They're nice and long and uh, actually being knit, I thought the dog hair would be clinging right to me, but it doesn't. I don't have any dog hair on me and I've been sitting in chairs out there. I've been next to the dog. It does. It's just not picking up and that's a big uh, plus for pants around me. Uh, the one thing it doesn't have, it doesn't have any pockets except on the back hip. And they're so low that if you put your phone in those, you'd be sitting completely on your phone. So they're not good for that. Mima's here. Hi, hi, hi. Let me uh, say whenever people comment afterwards, you know, uh, videos either that are recorded or videos that are after the fact of these live videos. Um, I do read everything because they'll come across onto my email. And then I go back to that video and I reread all everything. Even if you don't hear from me for a couple days, I will. I am reading them. Yeah, I usually comment on everything. So I really appreciate that. Um, one thing that surprises me, the live chat. Uh, once you go off of here, once you sign out. Now this is keep this keeps, you know, on my videos. But when I go to watch this video, to see the chats, the live chat is no longer on. It's only after the fact chats that are on. So I don't know what's up with that. I think they should keep the live chats on there. Unless I'm just not waiting long enough. I don't know. But this is the day that I do uh, numbers and what's sold and... Uh, and this week, it's how many didn't sell. Uh, now, last year has been, last year, as far as eBay and Poshmark, I mean, my whole reselling has been much slower than other years. And how I know this is, uh, I got my, I didn't get it back yet, but my tax guy called to give me an update. My taxes are just all done and he'll be mailing back to me so I can just sign them, send them on their way. But this is the first year, first of all, this is the first year I haven't gotten a 1099 uh, from eBay. So that alone tells you I didn't make 
enough. And uh, this is the first year that he's told me I do not have to pay any estimated taxes next year, this, this year, you know, toward last year. No, which is good. I love that, except it means I didn't make very much. So, yeah, sort of sad. But I really like not having to pay all that money in estimated taxes. I would have even gotten money back, except he's saving that amount to go toward next year's. So maybe I wouldn't even have to pay any next year. I don't know. Uh, things are just different on eBay than they used to be. I don't know if anybody else thinks that way, especially if you're not gun ho and growing your business like crazy, which I'm not. In fact, I'm trying to reduce my, <laughs> my inventory. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's great that I don't have to pay. Uh, so, one good thing. Uh, another surprise I got, I closed one of my big business uh, cards, Visa cards, and I didn't know that I had, or I didn't even know they sent you checks for, if you have points on there. I never use my points. So I had, I got a check for $280, which was a complete surprise in the mail this past week. And it's for points, unused points. So I called them and made sure that this was on the up and up. <laughs> And they said, yes, you can go ahead and cash it. It's, you know. So, yeah, that was nice. Uh, Guitar Guy says, eBay is very different. I have more listings and less money. Well, if I have, if I'm reducing my listings, I'm going to really have less, less money. Uh, it's lucky that I don't have to live on this. I mean, I live on my social security and uh, some things that my husband left and stuff when we sold the property in Florida. But if I had to live on this, there's no way. Well, there's no way nowadays you can live on social security, I don't think. A lot of people do. Uh, however, living more in the country like I do and living in a house that's heated by oil, yeah, it's expensive. So, I don't know, everything, you know, just God works in mysterious ways. eBay doesn't give me the money anymore. I used to pay completely, but... Uh, for my horses, I don't have any horses anymore. And now eBay went in the dumpster. Well, not completely, but, you know, much less than it was. I paid, yeah, I paid completely for my horses. Uh, that's counting their board, their vet fees, their dentist fees, their farrier, everything. Very expensive to have horses. And and the chickens and the dogs and cats, that was minimal compared to horses. So, And I still sort of pay for uh, what animals I have left, the dog, the cat, and my chickens with this money. So that's important. That's why I keep this up for sure. Plus... I think eBay for me is, it keeps my mind uh, busy. It keeps, uh, gives me something to do that I have to do every day. I don't want to be a person that just gets out of bed and sits on the couch and watches TV all day. Because if anything will sink you at age 80, that will. Yeah. 
you have to really keep yourself busy doing something. It doesn't have to be this, but, you know, something that you're interested in. So, hi, Margie. So let me show you, uh, share what I sold. At the end, I'll show you one surprise Mercari sale I had <laughs> this week. Hi, Bumblebee. Yeah. And then if, if I don't tell, I hope I remember, it, it's on a big, bright, sticky note here. I want to tell you this at the end because it's something that you may be interested in, some of you. Uh, but let me get to sharing my screen here and show you what I sold. All right, I'll show you all the posh... All the uh, eBay items first, then the Poshmark items, and then uh, the little Mercari sale. I had eight, I mean nine eBay items sold. Nine is all the whole week. And then eight Poshmark items and one Mercari. <laughs> so, yeah, no wonder I won't have to pay uh, estimated taxes. So this is a J. Crew long sleeve uh, sweater, 100% merino wool, and I believe this was made in Italy. I uh, yes, I have it on my note here, but it's not on. Uh, oh, it well, it says Italian merino wool. I don't know. It sold for the twenty nine ninety four. That was the sale price. Toward the end of the week, I ran a 25% off. That was like Friday, Saturday, and today. The rest of the week, I think, was either 15 or 20%, but we'll probably come across that. Uh, yeah, so they paid shipping and tax, and a total of $38.74 they paid to get it to Arlington, Texas. And this is this beautiful Torrid Super Soft. This is one of those tops that must be super comfortable to wear. Uh, short sleeve, this beautiful floral. And Shelly, from my one of my subscribers, Shelly, bought this. And it's uh, size 1X. It had that crisscross on the front there. And I'll pleat it around the bottom there. And it was uh, sold for, what do we sell it for? $17.25, a best offer that I accepted. And it went to Las Vista, Nebraska. Then I had just put this on. I just got this. It's Coldwater Creek Knit Top. I called it baby doll. I'm not sure if that is really baby doll or not, but that's what I put on. Uh, women's petite large half button and had some pleating on the top here. And this sold for $19.99. And this must have sold on Monday. There was no sale on this. It just came on. Somebody bought it. And I like that. Uh, went to Williamsburg, Virginia. I've been there. <laughs> and this is that Lululemon top. I sold this once before. They returned it uh, because they said it was stretched out. I wouldn't know the difference, to tell you the truth. I never get Lululemon. I never find it. And if I do, I don't know anything about it. So I probably don't pick it up much because of that. This had a built-in bra and then this sort of sheerish uh, overlay that made this whole top. Uh, I took a best offer of $10 for this. So, yeah. This went to 
Fisher's Landing, New York. Uh, this, I think, had been mine, and then I put it on a long time ago. I listed it, and it's back there in a drawer that I keep jewelry in that I've taken from my jewelry box. It's just a gold tone chain collar necklace. It's 17 inches long, and it sold for $16.97. And that must have been Monday, too, because there was no sale going on. Or maybe I just didn't have the jewelry on sale. Sometimes I only have certain things on sale. This is a top or a blouse by 41 Hawthorne. It was a half button down. I think it goes down to right there. And uh, so it was a pullover tunic length and they had three quarter uh, row tab sleeves in this black and white uh, pattern sold for $20.56 which is 15% that's what I had uh, like Monday through Thursday I had 15% off and then 25% off the rest of the week on some mostly clothing things uh, Okay, this, oh, that, that top went to Kent, Washington. This is an Old Navy, the boyfriend shirt, uh, women's large, buttoned down, and look at there, I put a Barbie core on there. <laughs> uh, long sleeve, and it sold. It sold for $15.29, the sale price, and this went to Folsom, California. This is a pretty blouse. This is by Nick and Zoe. Uh, it's it was an extra small white with the um, what do you call that? Not beading, but edging uh, around the edges. And uh, this sold for twenty five dollars flat. <laughs> she, took, she took the seventy three cents off. That's good for me. Uh, with shipping and handling, she, uh, well, not handling, tax. She paid $33.40, and it went to Pflugersville, Texas. And this is my last eBay item, Talbot's. Uh, I've had this a long time. This is just a sort of stretchy rib net, ribbed knit sweater in a size medium. It's this beautiful wine color, though. This sold for night for $14 best offer, which I took. And this went to Dodge Center, Minnesota. And these are starting the uh, these are the Poshmark items. This is a pair of Capris. They're by Newport News Genealogy. Uh, collection of capris and they were a size six now I've never bought this brand before so I'm thinking I probably got this in a box of some sort but they sold for $12 I received nine dollars and five cents for these I have a hard time selling uh, capris I used to buy them I don't buy them anymore uh, yeah, they just don't sell for me. Uh, this is a men's uh, shirt by come back here, American Eagle Outfitters. It was a button-up shirt and had a dot, sort of a dot pattern on it. And this sold for $15. It was a size large. Uh, it went to Lenore, North Carolina. And I received twelve dollars from that sale. Uh, this is a nice pair of sandals, really good condition by Naturalizer. They're called the N5 Comfort Sandal, uh, in a reddish brown color of leather. They were all leather, 
and a good size of nine and a half, but they were narrow. So I've had these a while, but they finally sold for $18, and I received $14.40. They went to Collinsville, Illinois. And this is a pair of overalls I had just bought by Sonoma. The bib overalls, denim, in a size large. Uh, light wash. These sold for $22. And they went to Eagle, po Eagle Point, Oregon. And I received $15.58 because there was a shipping discount on that one. This is that Lily Pulitzer little sundress I've had forever and it finally sold. Uh, it was just a little tiny size two, uh, sold for $45. There was a shipping discount and I received $33.98 for this. This went to Arlington, Texas. Uh, Here's a Peter Millar short sleeve. This was not the comfort uh, one. This is just plain Peter Millar short sleeve polo shirt in this green stripe. It only sold for $17. Now the comfort knit or whatever it's called, comfort something, they go for more. They go 25 to 30, most of them. Uh, but I sold this for 17 and this went to Dallas, Texas. There was a shipping discount, so I only received $11.58. Keeping in mind, I pay, pay around $3.50, no more than $4 for any of the clothes I buy. Uh, so this yesterday, I sold these, the Jones and Company 100% linen Bermuda shorts. I think I put these on last summer. I think. Size 8, really nice pair of shorts. These sold for $22. Had a shipping discount, so I received $15.58. Now, the shipping discount, my Posher VA gives out when there's an interest in something. Uh, she'll come back in a matter of two to five minutes, whatever I have it set on, and she'll offer them a shipping discount. So that is why that happens. And since, since shipping is important to a lot of people, uh, the normal shipping on Poshmark is $7.95. I think it's still the same. And yeah. So then they got a shipping discount of two dollars and two cents for that. So the next and last item from Poshmark are these torrid cuffed uh, cotton blend jeans in a size 14. The waist was sort of elastic also on these. Now I just got these not too long ago and put them on. So they sold pretty quickly. And they sold for $14, and I received $11.05, and they're going to Quincy, Florida. Now, here is my Mercari sale. <laughs> I got this for free. Because, you know, we trade puzzle, us puzzle, puzzle people trade puzzles. Uh, so the girl that uh, owned the barn where I had my horses at, she was doing puzzles too. So she asked me if I wanted one. However, this was a thousand pieces. This did not fit on my board that I do puzzles on. I think it was because it was square. If it had been the like the rectangle one, it would have fit. But so I didn't even do this puzzle. But she uh, told me for sure all the pieces were there. I mean, I didn't count them, but it was a catology puzzle. So somebody paid $10 for this. 
and then they paid plus thirteen fifty delivery fee. The thing about this is, when I clicked on to get the label, here this is going UPS. Now I never had that happen before. I've always done USPS labels with Mercari. So I don't know how that happened. But now I have to run this tomorrow. I have to run this little puzzle that I boxed up uh, to UPS. And I did not, of course, have a box to fit it except for an eBay box. So it's in an eBay box. And it has a UPS sticker on it. And I'm going to just, you just drop it off at the UPS guy. I'm going to ask them, because it's a little store. I'm going to ask them if they have any stickers that are free that they can just paste over where it says eBay. If not, I mean, it's not going to matter. It's still going to get to them. They may be a little confused. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, but this cute little puzzle. Maybe they have a cat that looks exactly like this cat, and they just had to have this puzzle. I don't know. So let me show you my sad little graft here. Now this is just eBay. Look at this over here. This is just, like I said, stinky. <laughs> yeah. Now the $100 line they moved down because I was doing better, so they move it down, is right there. So, my numbers, this is just for eBay now. Total sales, this is gross sales, $235.99. I netted a whopping $139.08. Now, the average selling price was pretty good at $26.22. Uh, I will get off of here, I will tell you the Poshmark numbers. <clears throat> okay. On Poshmark, I did gross $165. That netted me $123.22. This is for four, five, six, eight items. So the average selling price was quite a bit under what uh, eBay. It depends on what your you know what sells that during that time. It was only twenty dollars and sixty two cents compared to twenty six something on eBay. Now, if you now I didn't add my Macari sale on here for the total, but uh, with eBay and Poshmark together, I netted. $262.30 uh, plus the $7 and something, $7.82 from Mercari. So that's what I made all week uh, reselling. Now, I did get that bonus check from Capital One <laughs> uh, of $280. They, the Capital One uh, check beat everything I made on reselling, and I didn't even have to do anything. Yeah. So that's that for this week. Just keep plugging along. Uh, let me read here some stuff here. Yeah, Margie agrees something's changed, too, on eBay. And you've been a part-time seller, like me, since 97, and you've never seen it so slow. I know. Hmm. Uh, Bumblebee says, I, let me make this bigger. I saw a video, Restless Thrifter. She said coupons do better than sales. Maybe something for eBay sellers to try and report back. 
Okay, I will. I'll try anything. I have in the past done coupons a couple times and I didn't notice anything, but I have to read more up more about how to do them to take advantage of them better. <clears throat> uh, for some reason, I keep thinking you'll be on a 430. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's because it's a 730 and a 4 o'clock. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Funny how you seem to have more sales when you're doing daily. Daily what solds? You think that, do you think so? It just seems sort of uh, repetitive if I do them daily and then come on and do them again, you know, for the week. I don't know. But I wanted to, uh, instead of doing the live videos so much, I wanted to do concentrate on making some uh, recorded videos. I'm going to try to do some on my phone also. They take longer to upload, but uh, I'm not liking this wide angle. Especially, I noticed it, especially on the ironing video I did. I did that for fun and to practice with the camera. Uh, but, yeah, that would have been much done much better if it was just the linear lens. If I do anything else, like when I show my, my technique of photographing upstairs I'm ju I'm not going to use that wide angle lens and see how it is on the GoPro and just use the GoPro maybe for when I go out and have to attach it to myself uh, Berg Bryce wait a minute uh -uh. You hit it live. Hello from the Bay Area, California. Well, hi. <laughs> Fitties, you remind me so much of you, your grandma. That's nice. I lived in northern Indi who lived in northern Indiana. Oh, okay. What do you have in your hand there on your little logo thing? What is that? I can't tell. Sort of, I thought at first it was a butterfly folded up, but now I don't know what that is. Yeah. Well, welcome. Home and Away's here, Deb and Tom. From snowy, how much, how many inches did you end up getting? Is it still snowing? <laughs> You're up in the Adirondacks. Undercover yard sales here. Just putting in your two cents. Wait a minute, let me read this. I don't end listings or send coupons or anything extra other than send offers to likers and watchers and sell about a hundred a week on three platforms. I don't mess with it otherwise. See how it, I know, it can be diff so different from for some people, but you're on three platforms. How many do you list every week or every day? How many list, how many do you list every day? I definitely think that affects eBay for sure, and probably Poshmark. I can't even count my Mercari because I I just don't do much with it at all. And then I know with Mercari, if you're not fussing with it, your things go right to the bottom. This was found. It's a, a huge 
more morale moral found in Lake Tahoe area several years ago. We used to hunt for them every spring in India oh, and when I was a kid. They are delicious. Is it a shelled thing? Like a, sh a shell fish type thing? I don't know what that is. I have to look that up. M-O-R-E-L. <clears throat> Huh. <laughs> you sell an eBay, Mercari, and Posh. Ten per day cross-posted, yes. That's what I was doing, and then when I wasn't getting as many items, I switched it down to six or seven. And then when I'm really low... I try to stretch it out and do this uh, ending and sell similar, which I can see will, you know, can lower the amount of things I'm selling. Oh, it's a mushroom. Morel mushroom. Okay. Ah. I've had some gorgeous mushrooms in my yard. I'm... Believe me, I do not trust myself or any, even any pictures to pick them and eat them. I'd be poisoning myself for sure. But, <clears throat> yeah. Guitar Guy says, for clothes, Posh is close to eBay now. Mm, I do better with the hard goods. Okay. The reason I haven't started the auctions on my hard goods on those shelves, I want to clear those shelves and get rid of those shelves. Uh, I had to end my listings end tonight. Not my listings, my sales end tonight on uh, at midnight or 1130. So tomorrow is when I can choose what to put on auctions. And... Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. All day, I'm going to be picking and choosing what I went, what I want to put on auction. I want to put it all on auction, but it's going to take me a while to... Uh, I have to make sure I have boxes. I just ordered... I Somebody mentioned that the uh, quarter was almost over. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah, the... This past quarter ends the 31st. So if anybody hasn't that has a store hasn't gotten their supplies uh, with their free coupon from eBay, their shipping, eBay shipping things, go do it right now. I did it today. So I bought some boxes and I was low on the uh, their bubble envelopes that I use for ties and things. So yeah, I needed some boxes in case I sell some of that stuff. We'll see because I haven't had good luck with auctions in the past. If not, I'll just have to mark the things down to practically nothing before I take them to Goodwill. <laughs> huh. Okay, let's all list 10 things a day and cross post to all. And go undercover. <laughs> I have to get things first. Well, does the auctions count? And now jewelry. Because there's a lot of really cute pieces in the jewelry box that Brylon Farm sent me. So there are things from there I'm going to list. But I do plan on going to Goodwill in the next couple days. But yes, try it. It can't hurt. I do choose my items to list super carefully nowadays. No more junky items. I know. Uh, that's what I was trying to do as far as picking goes. I was getting pickier and pickier with my picking. 
Uh, and I do seem to be selling new items that I'm just putting on. So, yeah. So that part, I think, is working. Mm. Undercover Yard said, you revamped your inventory system this week. It's been a huge project. I know. I, I wish I could just wiggle my nose and have this all turn into those big long boxes like daily refinement has and do the number system. But I can see it would take, Samantha would kill me. We just did this inventory. Uh, Delia says, me too. Oh, nothing worth less than 25. Yes, I would like that. It seems, you know, people are buying my things lower and lower. You know, I have an awful lot of things selling for 15, $12, $15 that I never had before, ever. New items and ones you've had forever. Classic Delia. Yes, I still have so many bad pickup listings, but won't be getting any more. Yeah, me too. But they're still here, and they have to go. So, I mean, if somebody wants to give me 10 or $12 for them, like Bumblebee says, it's better than nothing. It's better than taking them back to Goodwill. Uh Okay. Yeah, it all counts in the end. Uh, so that's all I had for today. I did want to tell anybody that's interested in the Bible, just put this out there. Y'all, hope you're having a beautiful day. Made your first sale on eBay yesterday. Norma Jean, congratulations. Doesn't it feel fun? It's, yes. Yes, that just gives you such a good feeling. I'm marking, Classy Deli says, I'm marking down. 10, whoop, you jumped there, 10 every two weeks before taking them to Goodwill. Good idea. Yes. Shelly mm. Loves Wines asked you a, whoop, she asked me some questions someplace. Let me see. Ask you a few days back, if she could come and do a large buyout of some of your inventory you didn't want. She did? <laughs> ah, where does she live? Mm, I'd have to sort it out. Mm hmm. I'd have to sort it all out and put it all together in a group. Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm so glad for you. It doesn't take much for it to turn into something. <laughs> uh. I would do it, surely, then start fresh with better stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, the uh, Bible thing. I went to church this morning. It was great, but 
Then I came home and listened to, there's several preachers I listened to on TV. So it's Sunday and Palm Sunday, so I wanted to spend some more time in the Bible. So one of the ministers or preachers that I watch is Jack Hibbs. I don't know if anybody knows him. Uh, he's pretty well known. He has a church in California. And, uh, but this particular one was about Bible prophecy. And it tells exactly how the Old Testament prophesies this about what happened in the New Testament. And he puts on the screen, it's like 20, it's like his preaching. Now, like our churches do, there's a lot of singing and praising in the beginning. So he starts preaching at 24 minutes, if you want to see it. Uh, the whole thing is called, it's live today or it's, it's today's ministry. It can be there for his first session or second session, doesn't matter. Uh, then at one hour and 20 minutes, because we go two hours, one hour and 20 minutes is when he puts the things on the screen and you can take pictures because you could never remember this and you could never write fast enough. So it tells exactly what verses in the Old Testament prophesize and where where it's uh, completed and shows that it, it really happened in the New Testament. Very interesting. <coughs> then you have to do your own Bible research, but it gives you all the verses and all the everything. It's the first time I ever saw it put all in one place. And I was up at the screen taking pictures of all of it. And it's 50, 50 items. So it's lots. He does 10 at a time. So there's, uh, yeah. There's five screens you're going to have to take pictures of. But if this doesn't prove that Jesus is the Messiah, I don't know what does. I don't know what people are waiting for. So I just wanted to put that out there. Yes, Bible study, that's what I love too. I like the good teachers that do verse by verse. They don't rush through and give you, you know, a whole chapter. They do verse by verse. Right, that's the best way to learn. So, I just noticed today on the way to church, from the, I mean, getting out of my car, I dropped my Bible. When I was picking it up, I noticed that one one whole corner is getting all, all messed up. It wasn't from the drop. It was just, yeah. I always wanted a, a real leather Bible. This is a fake leather one. But I have to have the bigger writing I'm able to see. So, yeah. I like the New King James. That's my favorite. So I'm going to close for now, and I will be back tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow, Monday. I'll be back tomorrow after my my trip, maybe to Goodwill and, and to the UPS office. Uh, and, yeah, it was Wednesdays I was going to take off. So Monday and Tuesday I'll be back on at 730 talk about miscellaneous things <laughs> i don't know what for sure uh you have a good evening to everybody and i will see you tomorrow thanks for coming